snuggle up, close your eyes, and relax. Tonight, we're going to meet Doris, a super cute, moshling plotimus who loves knitting things. And this evening, she's making something very special. Doris is a plotimus who loves to dig around, especially when she's rummaging for fluffles in the ground. Fluffles look like toadstools, but they're soft like fluffy wool. And this evening, Doris has done well. She's gathered three bags full. In the forest Doris digs in, there are fluffles everywhere. Though finding them takes hours. But Doris doesn't care. See, when she has enough of them, she knits them into things. From scarves and socks to cozy tops and hats with pom-pom strings. But tonight is extra special. For Doris has a plan to knit a quite enormous quilt, the biggest one she can. She squishes all the fluffles into one enormous bundle, then starts to knit while walking in a plotimus style trundle. Follow me. The sound of Doris knitting is spectacularly soothing. It's created by her magic, moshy knitting needles moving. 
falafel bundle follows her, now rolling like a boulder, while Doris walks and knits, and sometimes checks over her shoulder. As Doris knits, the ball of wool behind her slowly shrinks. But the quilt that she is knitting gets so big, she starts to think. Perhaps I need some friends to help me carry this around. Cause it's getting pretty tiring and keep snagging on the ground. My fluffle ball is fine. It rolls behind me as I knit. But this knitting's getting heavy. And I'm not about to quit. Doris keeps on knitting. And the quilt is getting longer. But what she really needs is someone carrying it who's stronger. spots a moshling owl hooting in the trees and says I'm knitting something massive can you help me please the owl Professor Feather Snooze hoots down I'd be delighted is this a solo project or are other folks invited? Doris tells the good professor what she has in mind. So he flaps away and twit twos. I'll see who I can find. Doris keeps on walking, knitting all the time as the fluffle bundle follows like a ball of squishy twine. The moon is gleaming up above now. Stars glint in the sky and Doris keeps on knitting though only she knows why. She ambles over hills and mountains, passing shimmering lakes, calmly knitting all the time. It's hard to stay awake.
Doris dawdles steadily, still knitting as she goes. By now, a lesser plotimus would surely stop and doze. Her knitting needles clatter as she briefly switches styles. Her quilt is quite humongous now. It stretches back for miles. As Doris pulls the fluffle ball and the growing quilt, her energy begins to flag. Her strength begins to wilt. But then she hears a twit twoo, a sound all moshlings love, and sees a rather wondrous sight from moonlit skies above. Doris can't believe her eyes. For once, she's lost for words. Professor Feathersnooze is back with countless moshling birds, soulful sparrows, twilight cuckoos, flocks of golden geese, not to mention barn owls and umpteen doves of peace. The birds pick up the knitting with claws and pointy beaks. And now Professor Feather Snooze lands on a branch and speaks. Sorry I was gone so long, but knitting of this size requires many friends to lift it up into the skies. Doris is relieved, for now her knitting's being towed. It's fluttering gently overhead, a fluffy, snuggly load. A million birds of every species hold the quilt aloft. And even though it's massive, it still feels very soft. The fluffle ball is tiny now, thanks to Doris's knitting. I couldn't do this on my own. She doesn't mind admitting. She keeps on knitting small details, although the quilt's complete, then stops to gaze up at her work and rest her tired feet. Let this 
asks the birds to spread the quilt out in the sky, telling them in which direction each of them must fly. Don't let go, she says. We need to spread this fully out, because once you do, you'll find out what this evening's all about. And so Professor Feather Snooze leads his birdie crew. And as he looks down on the quilt, he gets a bird's eye view. The quilt is knitted beautifully. And all around the hem are special stitches shaped just like a million mashi M's. Patterns of all colors are dotted everywhere. It's clear that Doris knits with skill and lots of love and care. By now, the whole thing spread out over mountains, fields, and streams, just like a massive comforter you'd wish for in your dreams. Finally, the masterpiece is totally unfurled. She's made a giant blanket to wrap around the world. Doris thanks the birdies, then says to let it go. But make sure you all let go at the same time, nice and slow. The blanket flops upon the world, and Doris starts to grin. At last, the planet's cozy. She just needs to tuck it in.
See you.